So once you're in the onboarding for Circle, uh, you just want to put your community name. Uh, and then um, we want to not make this a private community. We want it to be a public community. And then for branding, you can choose whatever color you want. Um, in this case, I'm going to go with an orange. And then for logos, um, we can skip that for now. Or you could add a logo if you want. Um, so now we're going to create our first space. And a space in circle is essentially a, an area um, that is kind of around a broad topic. So uh, in this case, the space is going to be uh, products. And um, what we're going to do is uh, have all of our products be created as topics in the space. Uh, that way, on our um, Product Hunt website, on the product page, there will be a comment section that's linked to that topic or specific product. So one thing that's cool in Circle is that you can click on the hashtag and choose a uh, emoji. So why don't I go ahead and choose a paintbrush for an emoji. Cool. Um, and now under visibility, uh, that's fine for the custom URL slug hide from logged out visitors. Um, we want to put that, keep that as is. We don't want this to be a private space. We want this to be something that is public. And you're not going to invite anyone to start. And in terms of the layout, uh, we can go ahead with the post view um, if we want. Um, so one thing that's cool about Circle as well is we're going to have the embedded comments on our website. But if you want, you can also use Circle as more of a full community uh, for your site. So um, you could have uh, you know, the comment section embedded, and then you also can have um, the, the full community on Circle. Um, and any comments that are made on your embedded um, comments on your website will also be shown on the, um, on the full Circle community. OK, perfect. Um, default settings, uh, we can leave these as is for now, and the default member notifications, we can leave those for now too. So now go ahead and create space. Perfect. So now we, um, we're in our product hunt demo and we've created the um, space. So now that we've done this, um, let's go ahead and go back to Webflow and also open up Zapier. All right, great. So here we are in Zapier, um, and we also have Webflow open here. So on Webflow, let's go to our um, products template. And in the products template, we're going to put the comment section down here below. Um, so let's go to um, our Webflow site. And we're or sorry to Zapier, and what we're going to do is edit this Zap that we've been uh, making. So send approved product hunt submissions to Webflow. So what we're going to do is we're, when we create a new a new record in Airtable, we're also going to create a live item in Webflow, and then we're going to add one more step. So press that plus button and add another step, which is going to be to create a topic in Circle. So that way, for each topic that you um, create or each product that you create, there's a topic in Webflow, and then we're going to uh, connect that to, or a topic in Circle, we're going to connect that topic in Circle to comment section in Webflow. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, create the topic, so let's go ahead and continue. And it's going to ask us to sign in with Circle, so go ahead and do that. And we need to find your API token. So I'll show you where to get that. So go back to Circle, into your settings, and then go to down to your API. And uh, go ahead and just type in Zapier. And it's going to pop open an API key, and you're just going to copy that and paste it into the form in Zapier. Um, so uh, you can go ahead and do that and then your account will pop up uh, and then go ahead and click continue. So now what we're going to do is um, 
customize our topic. So you're gonna choose your community. Um, my community is the product hunt demo that we're working on. The space is products. The topic name, uh, let's get this from create live item in Webflow and let's uh, click on name, so Periscope. Under description, let's go ahead and click on the description from Webflow as well. Pin topic is false. Comments enabled is true. Um, linking enabled is true. User email is, um, um, leave that blank. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and click continue. And let's go ahead and click test and continue. And let's see, a test topic was just sent to circle. So let's go ahead and go back to our circle and refresh. And cool, so now we can see um, there is a topic here called Periscope and it has the description here. Um, and then there's a comment section. And if we go in to the edit topic, um, what we're gonna see is the custom URL slug. So the slug is going to be created from the name, essentially. Just like how Webflow does it, um, what it's gonna do is if there's any um, uh, spaces, they'll put dashes, it'll make all undercase, um, lowercase. So this custom URL slug is gonna be important and you'll see why in just a minute. So let's go back to um, uh, Webflow, or sorry, to Zapier, and let's turn on this Zap. So now we have a three-step Zapier. Um, when there's a new record in Airtable, um, uh, which is when we approve the product, we're going to create a live item in Webflow, and we're also going to create a topic in Circle. Um, so now let's um, go back to um, Circle, and let's go to the settings, and what we want to do is go to the embed um, section in the settings. And we want to go down to the space, oh, sorry, to the topic widget right here. And the reason we want the topic widget is this is um, going to, uh, this is going to pull in the comment section of each individual topic for the product. So let's go ahead and just copy the topic widget go back to Webflow, and in the columns, uh, so let's open um, up the columns and let's go to the main content, and under the description, it's so actually under main content, why don't we go ahead and add another div right underneath it. Let's give it the class main content as well, so it has uh, that kind of same box shadow. Let's give it a margin. Let's go ahead and add a combo class here called margin top and give it a 10 margin top just so there's a little bit of a separation. And then inside of that, let's add an embed. Embed right here. And let's drag it into the main content. And now you're just gonna paste in that custom code that we copied over from Circle. So in circle, what we need to do is paste in the, the space slug first and then the topic slug. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and um, under the space slug, let's see here. So the space slug, let's go back to the community um, and you can see, uh, let's click on Periscope so you can see the space slug is the first one, it's products. Products is the space. So um, all we have to do is go ahead and manually type in products, so slash C slash products. And then the topic slug, what we're gonna do, make sure you, you're hovering over everything, um, including the brackets, but not including the question mark, and delete that. And we're gonna add a field dynamically, which is gonna be slug. And as long as it's the same name on Webflow, the slug is gonna be the same on Webflow as the slug on um, 
circle. And you'll see why this is important. Uh, so let's go ahead and just save and close. And let's go ahead, so we're on startup stash, um, and we didn't create a topic um, there. Uh, what we can do after this is quickly manually create the topics for the you know four, three or four sample products you have, just so the ones have it uh, have comments that you made before in the future, because all your products are going to be approved uh, through the approval process on Airtable. Um, every product that comes on is automatically going to have the circle topic created. So let's go to Periscope because this is the one that we made a test for. And now here we can see the comment section is showing up below, which is awesome. Uh, so now let's just edit the styling just a little bit. So let's hit the settings. And here we can see the width. Let's change it from 800 PX to 100%. And let's save and close. So now uh, this is going to be uh, better. It's going to be uh, centered in this section below here. And now let's go ahead and just add a heading above. And let's just give it an H3. And let's just call it discuss, discussion. Cool. So in the discussion, um, you'll be people will be able to write a comment. Um, and uh, it'll all be collected under this periscope um, uh, uh, topic. So all of the comments are going to be only about Periscope. Um, let me show you quickly how to create a new topic real quick for um, for any of the Webflow products that we don't have already. So under products, we have any mail, Periscope duet. So let's go ahead just into startup stash real quick. Um, just go ahead and copy that slug just in case we need it. Let's go ahead and create a new topic. Let's call it startup stash. Uh, don't worry about the description for now and let's go ahead and post the topic. So quickly let's just go and edit the topic and what you're going to see is the URL slug is the same startup stash because the rules that Webflow and Circle are using to convert the title to the slug are the same. So we can go ahead and save changes and go back to products and now uh, let's just quickly create a new topic for each of them. So we have any mail finder and just make sure that the spelling is all matched. Um, and like I said, um, in the future, this is all going to be done automatically. Uh, but if you ever, for some reason, need to do it manually, this is how you do it. Um, so then we've got duet display. We'll post the topic. We've got inbox by Google. Let's go back and let's create a new topic. Okay, great. And the last one is right here. So let's go back to products, create a new topic, and let's post it. Okay, perfect. So let's go back to products. And let's go back to Webflow. So let's go to our page. And now if we go to a another product here and choose Duet Display, now the discussion here is going to show up for duet display so this is awesome and it's all working perfectly so let's go ahead and publish it and let's click into it okay so i seem to be getting a bit of a weird bug on webflow when i have this uh, main content um, embed uh, on this column, on the first column, what's happening for some reason when I publish is the second column is um, being hidden. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take this main content. I'm going to move it to the bottom. And how I'm going to do that is first I'm going to add another section to the very bottom of the page and make sure to drag it to the left. So it's just another section equal to this main section. Let's go ahead and label it main section as well to give it the same padding and background. And then take this main content that we have in that first column and just drag it underneath into that main section. So now what we have is this discussion on the bottom of the page here. Perfect. 